Hello and hello. To... I'm sorry. No, the, we've had a lot of issues with Looster, our production guy. Give shout outs to Love and Looster. We're going live because issues. This is Meat Market versus Hell's Kitchen, and right away we see Meat Market looking to pack things up over here on the right side. Sandblast getting really deep onto Sin over here on the left side, gonna get that winger shot down. Cookie trying to rotate around, trying to catch him out in the elbow. But Tojo also really close to go for a bomb. He's at 70 HP, so it's gonna be tough. No, he gets cleaned off by Corsa, who's wrapping around to the point. Fits a, a second one onto Pete, and it was now makes his way towards Sandblast, who's made his way out the big door, and will be rolling over as quick as he can. We do see if he can make it. No, he does not. Very good start for Meat Market to take things down already. And we do have Aquila joining me. Hey, hello, hello, Aquila. Hello, hello. Hang on, let me get in the server real quick. Yeah, you can't really analyze. We have our temporary analysis analyst. Oh, Mitch left. Shout out to him. <laughs> Coming in short notice. All right. <laughs> now that we've stabilized, even though there's a few a huge Uber ad coming in from Meat Market. Just to give you a quick breakdown, I'm Ro, I'm joined here by Aquila and Looster on camera. We're in River, and we're rushing into last, with an Uber going right into the face of a Pyro, who's trying to catch all these players. Sin and Cookie pushing them back, also separating the Medic from the rest of these heals, but the demo is surviving. Alex taking a nice, huge surf, throwing some pipes as well. Sandblast on the point, though, taking a lot of damage, not going to be able to survive for much longer. Trip, trying to get this last shot on the, the scout, but Corsa lives, and there's going to be the cap for Meat Market. 1-0. Quick fire round. We're, we're, we're firecrackers here, Aquila. Yeah, I wish I could catch this action. I'm currently trying to join server, but... Anyway, <laughs> Hell's Kitchen now trying to respond really quickly, moving into this left side of the mid. Chunky taking a lot of forward ground with the rest of his soldiers. Tojo also making his way underneath. We do see Sin actually jumps and manages to hit an accidental air shot on the trip. Trying to wait for that arrow, but man, Hell's Kitchen does not have the positioning right now. And with Tojo going down, <laughs> clumsy, painful death. And a wrap from Sin, who came from drop down and instantly took down Sandblast and the Medic ulti duo. It's gonna be huge for Meat Market. They've already wiped everyone, but they lost May. With I joined in bomb from Trip just in time to see Trip get a huge bomb onto May. The, control point is being the, the saving grace of that mid fight. Now that we're at a sort of slow-paced moment while both the medics are respawning, let's break down these teams real quick for you guys out there. We've got on the uh, Meat Market squad, we've got May on Medic, Alex.exea on Demo. The soldier that isn't Sin is Broking. That is Broking. Okay, I thought he was aliasing. And then finally Cookie and Corsa on Scout. Right, and over on the side of Hell's Kitchen, we got Daffodil on the Medic. You know him as Ulti Duo in the server. Sandblast and... Pete on the scout class with Trip and Tojo on the soldier and Chunky rounding out the team on the demo man. Yeah, I was hearing an interesting comment when I was while I was playing with Sandblast earlier today. It was he was calling uh, Alex.exe and Chunky like the contenders for top up and coming players, you know, in air quotes. So uh, these two demos definitely uh, setting a new uh, face onto the invite demo role. We'll see how these things pan out for them. As uh, we're on even Ubers on last, Aquila. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like uh, Hell's Kitchen setting up on this left side. They see Meat Market trying to kind of aggressively peek this right, but you know, we got the demo man, Chunky, sticking that up, doing a really good job of pulling that down. And it looks like there's a tiny little skirmish going down as Cookie feeds in through, but Sin goes down on the flank. He's taking the 1v1 against the scout on the point, putting so much time on the forces all of Hell's Kitchen to drop down onto the point. And Meat Market just has all this time, but Cookie going down in the water to Sandblast, taking that 1v1. And it looks like Meat Market being two players down is going to allow Hell's Kitchen to push out into this lobby area. Yeah, Toe just trying to clear out the river, but taking a ton of spam from Broking. Gonna have to retreat, and now Pete also rotating back into this river is gonna find himself face to face with the combo. And Mace just going straight for the point, not even gonna have to use the Uber. Finally gets forced as Tojo respawn, or excuse me, hits the resupply cabinet and then comes back out into the fray. The Uber has been countered by Daffodil. The Hell's Kitchen crew have made their way into last. Just desperately trying to clean these players. Course and Broking will go down while Mace trying to make the escape. Course are gonna be slowing, or excuse me, Cookie. These hats are throwing me off, man. Well played. <laughs> uh, Cookie gonna be uh, playing defense there. And now Alex also holding down these shutters is gonna make it very difficult for Hell's Kitchen to push on this two man advantage. Yeah, it looks like Meat Park is setting up to lock down this second point, but there are two players down just now getting their spawns as Hell Kitchen kind of sort of contests this upper area. Uh, it seems like Meat Market's 
keen on staying here. They're building back. You know, they're setting up for the hold. Their spawns are just now here. And Hell's Kitchen is all the way back on last. I don't think Meat Market knows they have this much space yet. Yeah, they're very cautious right now. But they're slowly starting to realize, hey, we've got all this room, but they got to watch out because Pete on that sniper could get a good shot. He swaps back out, opts to go back to a different off class for this, checking some guns, playing Spy. We do see Sin try to make it through, but got air shot by Tojo there, and a desperate cookie also followed, followed suit to his death. It's a lot of players with C names going down, and Pete has snuck his way through the baby door, the lower lobby. Is making its way to mid. We'll see how the rest <gasps> of the health is pushing through. Trip. No, it's Tojo. It's Tojo. Got a good force onto May over in the battlements. Going to desperately send Corsa through the lobby, but there's nothing to find. And Pete still behind. Going to be meeting up with Alex. And then make his way out successfully. That is a very good pick. That's going to open up a lot of opportunities here. Yeah, it looks like Hell's Kitchen is looking to push out here through this riverside. But look at this. We have Cookie on the spy class. We'll see if that comes to play. He's <laughs> stalking his prey by crouching, but this decloak is very ballsy. I'm gu I guarantee you someone's going to hear it, but he's, he's going for it. Oh, man. He does do it. They oh, I hear think it. heard it. No. Nope. No. Right to Daffodil. Takes him down. Going to instantly start revolvering down Chunky before getting picked off here finally by Sandblast. But with no heals, this is a great opportunity for me Market to take as much ground as they want. Sandblast found a very cheeky spot to hide. No one's even spotted him. He's going to jump around the corner, but he goes straight for the demo. Two Timmies. Timmy two tap. Going to grab that before he goes down. Pete picking up Rogue King. And a follow from Tojo will catch out May. No escape for them. Meat Market loses their medic, and now Corsa, desperate to make something happen here on this second, is going to be met up with Sin, who's trying to throw some pot shots from the rockets. Long range, trying to create an opening for Corsa. He will be able to surf the rocket to his escape. Yeah, Corsa did a great job of keeping eyes on him while Sin was able to get some spam off. I think Cookie was going to try to commit through Big Door there, but their health just wasn't in the right position with all of the Hell's Kitchen players being healthy, having their heals with them, and it looks like they are setting up for this uber charge. However, we have Meat Market playing very aggressive in this big door. They send a scout into lobby. Just He's taking a 1v1, however, against Pete, and Pete's going to go down to him, and that's going to open up a ton of space for Meat Market to get in here. Another player down. That is two down on the favor of Hell's Kitchen. Sandblast trying to draw some players back by getting a back cap started on the mid fight. And Chunky's going to try to jump out of this second. However, it is not going to work out. He's going to get picked up by Bro King. Very close to stopping that second. Even just throwing his body onto it would have enabled it. But now, Hell's Kitchen is in the worst situation possible. There are so many players on Meat Market just rushing straight to the point. Didn't even have to pop while they didn't have it. But, you know, they had just had so many openings because of the positioning of Hell's Kitchen and desperate to salvage that back cap that uh, Samuelos was going for. Ultimately, it didn't work out. Yeah, they're leaving a lot of entrances open there for Meat Market to just walk over them. We had Sandblast on the back. He's trying to start that back up. You know, he was trying to get a little salvage play for his team, but at the end, Meat Market was just able to get through. And going into this second, or this third mid fight now, we have Cookie going down right off the bat, trading with Ho uh, Tojo. And it looks like Meat Market is giving up a ton of positioning here. They're locked away in choke. However, Bro King manages to get the pick on the trip. He's and opening up some space for Sin to get a high bomb, picking up Sandblast with a clean rocket. And Bro King is not done. He's going to get back onto this midpoint, opening up a ton of space for Meat Market to contest this. And Hell's Kitchen is slowly getting bullied out here. But it looks like they're not giving up. They're going to contest this mid fight with Tojo just now spawning, getting in on this right side. It looks like he's going to have a clean bomb onto May. They do not spot him out yet. He gets one rocket off, but however, Cookie cleans him up, and that is going to be the contest from Hell's Kitchen. However, that is stun stumped as uh, the medic Daffodil drops. Very unfortunate for Hell's Kitchen there. Yeah, Alex went absolutely massive with those pipes straight into the fray. May was very close to dying early on in that mid. Toju did a great bomb, brought May down to single digits. But uh, May surfed, and then they just kept playing that fight out. Sin getting that rocket definitely opened up the door, and then Bro King just being a presence was enough for the response to catch up, and then ultimately Me Market secures the win. Let's see how they uh, continue to push here with full add. Where do you think it's coming? I mean, obviously River. Def but like... Yeah, definitely through River. Uh... I see Pete on the Pyro class. He's going to attempt to stump this. However, Bro King is going down into water. If he manages to put some time on point as the Uber comes in for Meat Market, 
then it might work out in their favor, but Pete is doing a great job with his air blast completely denying the uber. And we now have a 5v5 situation with Meat Market kind of caught in water here. Oh no, and their medic is down. Oh yeah, no disconnect you... issues or something going on here. Maze just standing perfectly still, <laughs> broken, looking desperately. Give me an arrow! But now they he's don't... got crit heals for sure, so he's going to be initiating on the Tojo. Thankfully survives thanks to all those heals from May. <laughs> the Late as they were, going straight to the back of the water. May comes to the point, immediately drops, and then the cap is already almost finished by Hell's Kitchen. It's just a couple players lingering in River. Of course, they're trying to get onto Chunky here. Not going to be able to get it because Chunky's got the pipes. He's laying it down like a plumber. Very clean pipe from Chunky to get that pick on, of course. I, uh, Hell's Kitchen kind of had me worried there. It looked like they were pushing in the lobby without clearing that water, but Tojo was really quick to drop down and call out that combo as Bro King and May were walking onto the point. So that is going to be the Medic down earlier on the side of Meat Market. And it looks like we're going to have Hell's Kitchen gearing up to push through with a full uber advantage through Big Door. They're not called out, however, Meat Market has great position playing this upper area. The uber cannot get to them. Bro King and Trip both go down. That is a 5v5, however, the uber is still in favor of Hell's Kitchen. They need to be moving quicker here. Yeah, Lobby's their plan of action. They're taking it. Oh man, they're they're so scared. They're assuming there's traps and everything. No one's clearing anything out. And now that huge advantage they have, completely gone. Nothing to do. The demo took a gamble. Decided to go to river. Put stickies all over, and we do see Tojo <laughs> lingering a little bit over there. Almost got taken down, but he's he's fine now. Yeah. It I think Hell's Kitchen needed to be quicker with their push there. That that could have been clean in, you know. We got a sentry gun up now by Cookie. And it looks like they're setting up for the classic goalie wash last hold. But if they were if they're fast enough just going through that lobby side, I believe they could have just walked in. But it looks like we're Absolutely. just setting up for the, the classic, you know, sack play. Wait it out. See if you can if the other team will make any mistakes as Bro King walks into this lobby with the combo, the beam is on him. Taking so much damage, but he manages to hang on May, keeping him alive as Tojo goes down to Corsa, chasing with that scattergun, getting that pick. And we have a quick little skip from Bro King. It is a clean bomb. Can he get the second rocket off onto Daffodil? No, Daffodil manages to hang on. And that is a 5v5 with Pete spawning on the sniper class. And it looks like Hell's Kitchen is setting up to play this sniper positioning. And now he's rotating to lower, trying to get this angle. On the left, Alex has actually crossed the sight line, so as soon as he tries to walk back, he would get caught off. But now Pete rotating over to the River is going to get the shot potentially here. Alex, not sure when it's going to come. He doesn't even know about it. He calls it out finally and will make his escape. No more threat for Alex. They're going to keep their demo alive here. And Bro King now taking an opportunity to push forward, clearing out a trap. Not really getting into the room, any room from that. And Pete, nice pipe from Alex. Catches him right after the spam, just tickled him a little bit. And then uh, Pete took a shot and then accepted his defeat. So now we see me market taking full control of this bat. It's going to be popping off right away. Trying to get some damage off. <laughs> oh, the drop from Daffodil! That's how you do it. You just got to bring him down to that 90, 80 HP range and then boom! Hit the meat shot from the meat market. Hell's Kitchen couldn't cook that one. That should have been a pop. Meat market was so just like aggressive. They had their energy there. They're just walking through that riverside, you know, off of one pick, managing to steamroll over Hell's Kitchen. And. It looks like Meat Market's just really just asserting these their dominance with these these quick one pick pushes, and with that they're going to be able to steamroll into mid as well. It seems like they're taking the big door as Hell's Kitchen is forced to back up into this river area. You know they still got a player down. There's a couple players in forwards. Chunky, however, is going to get caught by an arrow from May, making a nice quick kill onto him, and that's going to be the demo man down on Hell's Kitchen. If Meat Market's quick, they might be able to take this into last. But there is a ace in the sleeve from pete he might be able to stop the point here scout not ready for it at all cookie goes <laughs> down so there is no second cap available and now they're aware of the spy we do see sin is quickly rushing back to second to quickly dispatch with any remnants of pete but he's made his escape he's already back to last and swapping back onto pyro to play this uber defense as the uber is getting ready broken gets sent underwater but uh meat market still just waiting very carefully deciding when to push they're going to back off and let broken do his thing yeah, Broking, kind of drawing some soldiers and a, and a scout back into that water area, forcing them to clear it out. We have Pete on the pyro, seeing if he can get another denial of river. Was that a little bit of lag on the server? Yes, it was, but we're good. It wasn't a pause. No, no. I was, I was traumatic stress oh, no. disorder on ECA pauses. We're doing good so far. 
Yeah, as I was saying, Pete setting up for that stuff. No, he's back onto the spy class, just checking off classes actually. And he's on these scouts. Ready to take this even push, and it is Sin leading the charge with a bomb. However, him and Cookie are gonna get mulched. I think I'm gonna write that one off as a double sack as Hell's Kitchen pushes out into lobby, clearing all their entrances. Alex is on the ground though, he's gonna get caught by the scout here. That is very good news for Hell's Kitchen as the demo man and two other players are down. The Uber is gonna come out of Meat Market. This is very scrappy. Bro King is gonna get dropped by the Uber, and that leaves May to leave all alone here. This is gonna be a clean second take for Hell's Kitchen. Nobody should die here. Quickly, Sin rotates over to the choke to quickly get some damage off. I say quickly way too many times, Aquila, but it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> We're seeing Trip initiating from the drop down. He managed to sneak his way through and get some good damage on May. Sandblast rushes quickly in, but can't find the meat shot to clean it up. But meat market has been scattered by this damage, but there are just too many frags in favor of the meat market. So it's Cookie rushing forward here. Sandblast going to just nigh that scout and then keep moving the medic back. It's going to be very tight here as the rest of the meat market have completely taken over this lobby. They just need to finish capping second, and then it'll be an even Uber's last situation once again. The meat market getting a little bit hasty in that lobby, but they, they opt to back off, you know, do the do the good play, the smart play. And looks like they're getting into lobby here. I'm curious to see what May does with this single scout Uber onto the pyro class. I think all of me, uh, Hell's Kitchen expected them to come from River. However, the exchange comes out. The Uber's way better from Hell's Kitchen. But Sin and Corset is playing the point. And I think uh, Hell's Kitchen just kind of tunnel, tunnel vision the frags there. You know, they knew uh -huh. they had the way better Uber, but, you know, the, the point presence is king. That's how it goes when you're in that rush of, hey, we got to get some frags. Comms are blaring. You kind of miss out on those. Hey, they got times three on the point, and it caps in like two seconds or less. So that's exactly what went down. It's a very dominant start for Meat Market here in our first half. 3-0 in less than, wow, I don't even know how fast that was. It was just absurd. The second half, or excuse me, the third round started at 22 minutes. So it couldn't have been much longer than seven or ten minutes overall so that's a quick easy half and looking over at the damage here i'm going to be seeing just where it lines up i do notice that most of the damage on the side of meat market is right in line with each other almost everyone hitting that 5000 mark which is just shy of the uh, 300 dpm yeah the damage is really there's a very big difference i think you can tell by these stats I'm, I don't think that the server is going to give us much time to talk about it, however, as we're getting into the second half right off the bat. Yeah, and everyone on Meat Market had a positive KD, and that's not something you see very often. But uh, that just tells you how good of a first round this is going for Meat Market, and we'll see if Chunky, taking an early sticky after grabbing the pack, can handle the pressure. Sin going to be jumping in, grabbing that first frag. It's not what Hell's Kitchen needed to start things off. So they're going to be split apart, the Medic trying to get out through the big door while the Scout and Soldier try to go for a last ditch effort right onto the Medic, but May doesn't even feel a scratch. Stone will not strike his heel with the help of Cookie. Burning <gasps> Angel. Daffodil, he's going down, what? way down to the, the Soldier combo from Meat Market, Broken. way deep into last there. And that is in. very bad news for Hell's Kitchen as Meat Market is now in position with the full Uber advantage to walk in clean here and they're just they're doing a great job of just steamrolling this aggression steamrolling these picks tojo going down as well just an unfortunate little meteor smash coming out from a rocket from sin here we have meat market in the last already the uber gets popped very late chunky the demo man going down immediately the pyro taking a ton of damage trying to do what he can but it's not going to work out we have pete on the floor taking a fight against cookie seeing what he can get onto the demo man but he's going to get cleaned up however from cookie and sandblast getting the pick onto bro king sin going down as well hell's kitchen just has to play the point here as meat market just dances around it is just tojo left alive that was a quick two minute round bro yeah, if you were watching in the stats for our quick halftime break, you noticed the score was 4-0. That is literally the sign that the next game finished in 90 seconds plus. And we look at the clock, yeah, it's a little bit, yeah, it's about 100 seconds for that round. And Alex going to be getting a little bit more damage this time around, so he's going to have a hard time poking his head out. Toja also going to be rushing very quickly with Trip in close tow. Trying to make some damage happen here, but the soldiers from Meat Market are doing a much better job. Meat Pro King. 
finds his mark, takes down Daffodil. Chunky will also go down to Cookie before trading with his life. Chunky did his best to exchange frags for that. Got two kills in one life, but Pete, now in the face of Corsa, desperate to get away, while also Trip is very low on health, gonna be backing out to last. Unfortunate turn of events for Hell's Kitchen, just can't find their footing on these mids. Yeah, Pete facing the inevitable there, taking that fight against a fully buffed, beamed Corsa, 1v1 scout fight. That was not going to work out for him. Tojo forced to leave there, sitting on very little health. None of the cards were in Hell's Kitchen's favor. As Meat Market walking through this big door, they're going to take this momentum, take this aggression straight through the main side. Getting down the sentry gun immediately, Sandblast. He's off the Engineer, back onto the Scout class. Pete in the back line somewhere, gets a backstab onto Alex, but I don't think it's going to matter. Meat Market actually... They have to rotate their heals over to them, but if they manage to play this right, they will definitely win. Yeah, we have May on the point. That is going to be all she wrote. The fight going 5-0 in favor of Meat Market. Over Hell's Kitchen, yeah, another another unfortunate quick round. Meat Market just wow. showing a ton of dominance on that map, at least for the couple rounds I saw. Yeah, I think this really came down to map choice. Meat Market felt like a much more practiced team through and through. I mean, on paper, both these teams look relatively even. We've got, you know, big players like Samblast and Pete, Trip doing good damage, Tojo as well, and Chunky, of course, on Hell's Kitchen. But, I mean, Corsa, Sin, Broking, all went huge. And also Cookie, 23 frags leading the entire server. No one can really catch up to him. Just absolutely insane. Yeah, the stats are just showing such a difference in damage done. Meat Market being very dominant, both the scouts breaking the 300 mark, but I think it just came down to, you know, the, the play from Meat Market, I think just being smarter than Hell's Kitchen, you know, and these quick collapses and aggression and just being able to steamroll that momentum. I think it was in the fourth round, you saw, I think you called it, it was the Demo Man, Chunky, eating a quick early sticky from, uh, what's his name, Alex. And we immediately saw a bomb from Sin onto him, just completely turning the tide on that mid fight. And with that aggression, Meat, Mar Mar Meat Market, excuse me, was able to steamroll right into last and take that round. That's how it is with Gully Wash, you know. If you win the mid, generally speaking, you're just going to take the round. Yeah, definitely. So all these things really boiled down to was those mids. Although there were some a couple exchanges back and forth we saw in the first half. It was just really hard to push out of Gully Wash for the rest of Hell's Kitchen. And so Me Market just had to play defense, get their Ubers back in, find an opening, and then just go for it. Because Gully Wash is also, it's it's very interesting. You you look at like a snake water. If you're stalemating, you're going to send sacks. But on Gully Wash, even with Uber Ed, sometimes you can just send someone in with a, you know, just take the Uber in straight away and hope to get a better post Uber exchange. Just saw really good. Really, really open for uh, Gully Wash pushes on last. And when you win the mids and you can push last for free. It's definitely in your hands. Uh, yeah, definitely. One thing that's standing out to me, I'm, I took another quick glance over the stats, and May had a 10 Uber charges as opposed to Daffodil with 4 charges and 3 drops. So I think that would kind of have a factor also. I don't know if it was just mm -hmm. very good bombs from the meat market soldiers. Or it just... would, those 2 drops, I can tell you. Oh, three drops. I can't tell you the third one, but I can tell you two of those drops. One of those was the demo on mid. That would have been a much more favorable exchange, potentially. Can't say with absolute certainty, but I mean, getting piped down by uh, by Alex definitely killed that mid fight. So it could have gone in Hell's Kitchen's hands, but without it, nothing doing. And then the other one was just absolutely insane from Corsa. Just ran straight for the medic and then got him down low enough, just low enough. To where it's like, okay, I can milk one more shot, but Corsa, he hits those. <laughs> Hit the fatty 90-100 damage shot, and that took him out. So, unfortunate. Yeah. I don't think that they expected Corsa to to hit those, but you know, when it's Corsa, you have to expect him to hit those. Yeah, I think once you get down to 110, it's like, okay, pull the plug, let's go for it. <laughs> Can't lose it here. But that, yep. did, that wasn't the case this time, so that cost them that that exchange as well. And that was also when they were owning their second, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. Exactly. That If they would have popped there, they would have held on to second, possibly gotten around by the end of it all, because when you're playing defense on uh, on Gully Wash, especially if you're holding your second, 
usually you'll get a better exchange, send someone behind, get some bad caps going. Anything could have gone better than just dropping right there. So unfortunate turning points for sure. Yeah, definitely. And with that, I'm going to look at the schedule. We have Meat Market playing Mentality next week and Hell's Kitchen playing up against Bring Back Turbine DM. So two, two matches coming up. You know, very good. Can't wait to see those. I'm, I'm reading a little message from uh, Looster, the post match, uh, the post match talk that me and Ro are doing right now, lasting lasted a bit longer than the second half of that match. Yikes! <laughs> when the analysis is longer than the second half. Yeah, I'll I'll cut Hell's Kitchen some slack though. Meat Market, very strong team. <laughs> Dude, Looster every 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 night is open mic night with Looster. I mean, he's just saying this was like more exciting than the Super Bowl. So much to say. Yikes. And but yeah, you're that... saying to their credit, to Hell's Kitchen's yeah, credit. Yeah, definitely. And with that, I think we're gonna be wrapped up here, Looster. And Ro. Yes, this was a very nice cute little match to keep you guys uh entertained on youtube if you need if you need like a quick uh potty break from work or during lunch you know just a quick quick and easy match big shout outs to looster our cameraman and console organizing all of our cast this week ahead of time so be sure to go to teamfortress.tv you'll see the schedule they're already set up and you know, also aquila already posted it but if you're ever needing to catch up especially if you're on youtube right now you just got to go to teamfortress.tv, look at the schedule, see what's coming up, and then uh, we hope to see you live at our Twitch, Team Fortress TV. With that, any shout-outs, Aquila? Hi, Mom. And I'm also going to give a shout-out to the Map Test Pugs from Lucrative. Definitely check those out. If you've got you know anywhere from like mid to invite level skill, we're just looking for competent players to really break these maps in and find out what's good, what's bad, try and fix any of the rough edges. So if you're interested, check out the Team Fortress TV thread. There's there's somewhere in there. You'll find it. It's posted by Lucrative Map Test Play Pugs. Check it out and join us. It's a lot of fun. Very uh, very engaging discussions and everything. With that, I think we're done. Unless Looster wants to shout anyone out. Oh, right. His mic's broken. Never mind. Ha. Huh. He says we good. Shout out to we good. Yeah, it's we funny, good. guys. It's funny. Mm. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching and uh, hope you have a good night.